Roxy and I want to tell you about this video. Right, Roxy? <laughs> so, um, I'm going to share with you a thread up five pound box unboxing of jewelry. And I have to tell you, spoiler alert, I was pretty disappointed by this, but then when I was editing, I felt like maybe I shouldn't have been so disappointed. So please stick around, tell me what you think, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up for me. It would mean a lot. Let's get started. Okay, so a quick story before we get started. If you've noticed that I lately have not had my engagement and wedding ring on my finger, it is because this is my PSA to all of you ladies. I never took those rings off, like at bed, to shower, nothing. And you can see that I have like a definite mark on my finger from them. And I noticed that my prong had shifted, which means that it's time to get my ring um, serviced. But look at that bump that I have. I don't know when that developed um, or when I stopped being able to take my rings off my finger but I could not get those rings off my finger and I had to have them cut off and I have to get them resized. So someone um, who works in the jewelry industry told me that you should take your rings off every single night because your sheets could pull on the prongs, which will loosen your diamond. And then also, you know that you can get your rings on and off. So that's my PSA for the day. Okay. Let's get into this box. This is a five pound DIY jewelry box from ThreadUp. It is from their Georgia location and let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Make sure I know what I'm talking about. Yes, Rescue Box DIY Jewelry, five pounds. And this cost $38. I believe there was a $6 shipping charge bringing the total to $44. So hopefully we can at least make $44 back. It is a brick of gold. Here is our brick. It is, you know what, I'm gonna weigh it quick. Let's just see, because it, it's definitely heavy. And it does weigh five pounds, four ounces. Here's your look at this side this side not sure how I'm feeling at this first glance but let's dig in my dogs want to get in on the action too but we'll just start pulling pieces out and hopefully each piece is better than the next right okay. oh I like when I get rings because I feel like I don't get that many rings so here is a ring um it's pretty um like massive in size oh and there is a little mark there not sure what that says see it but I just like when things are marked yeah I'm not positive what that says here's another ring that's an interesting shape I wish the lighting was better what the heck um pretty big size yeah it's like big. That's interesting. <laughs> Here is something that looks a little older. Um, almost looks like, I don't know if that's just scratches or it almost looks like there is some kind of maker sketch there, but maybe I'm seeing things. It does say 925 right there. So that's exciting. Ooh, this is very blingy and pretty. It's a small ring with uh, different colored rhinestones. Pretty. Uh, no marks on that one. Wow, lots of rings. Like I said, I like that. This, um, I would think, yeah, hot topic. <laughs> Just like a uh, Halloween, I think of it as a Halloween piece. Um, 
I mean, it, it is wearable. I could put that in my wearable lot that I'll be selling. And if you do see anything that you're interested in, please shoot me an email at dljfrompa at gmail.com. Um, you'll probably get to me before I get to posting anything and I can give you a better price than what I would if I had to take photographs and pay listing fees and whatnot. Um, and I will be putting together and selling very soon both a wearable jewelry lot and a craft jewelry lot of the broken and um, you know pieces that need some attention. All right, so here is a piece that I think is destined for that craft lot. Um, it's like a stretch ring that, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's very worn and needs some attention. So that is a perfect candidate for the craft lot. These earrings certainly look old. Um, they are these black balls. Again, I think these will go in the craft lot because if you can see, they have some wear on the black stones. Um, I don't see any kind of mark or anything. They need to be cleaned up, but I, I think that this is maybe some damage on there. So I don't know if somebody could do something with those, maybe replace them and reuse that. Here is a Claire's body jewelry top drop. I believe that is a belly, maybe a belly ring. Here is a pair of earrings, nickel free from the jewelry shop 2015. Here we have a blue faceted bead bracelet um, that has just the button closure does have some kind of tag here. It says anthology. So I'm not sure if that'll go in the wearables or if I'll try to sell that separately. I'll have to look that up. Here, these say sterling silver, but they are gold toned. So I don't know if they were just placed on this card. Sterling earrings, try to get $7.99 for them. I think I'll probably put those in my, I also have a religious lot with um, items that have crosses and other religious significance to them. What do we have going on here? So from Sam and Moon, I've never heard of them, but there is a set of stretch bracelets, um, kind of like a champagne, you know, off-white color, ivory moon. Um, that bead is very dirty. I'm not sure what's going on with all the black on that one. Um, I think they would look better off the card, honestly. <laughs> this card is a little dirty and distracting. So, hmm. don't know if we'll see what to do with those. We have, oh, is this all together? Whoa! Uh oh, it broke. So this was a set of necklaces and pendants, but the longest one has broken. And I'm not sure that I know how to repair this. You know how to repair that? So that will go in the craft lot. Um, this is, oh, it does have PLT. I'm not familiar with PLT, so maybe I'll look that up first before I put that in the craft lot. Then we have this necklace with the um, bar on it. Um, I don't see a maker. That may go in my wearables. I'm being very selective with what I list because I have so much jewelry to list that um, I really just need to get rid of some of it. So this may just go in the wearables. Ooh, here is a pretty clamp bracelet with a butterfly and flowers, a rhinestone. 
Oh, it looks like maybe it's missing a rhinestone in the middle there, but I can easily fix that. Um, I do not see a maker, but I like that piece. So that I think that I will sell. Just a simple um, braided cuff style bracelet. It's not cuff. I don't know what to call that. Fixed green. Can you tell that's green? Stone in it. Kind of small. I'm scared now to put any rings on that finger. <laughs> uh, it needs to be cleaned up. I mean, I'll test that gem to make sure that it's not any, I don't think, no. This is just a, a cheap ring. It could go in my wearables lot with some detail on it. <clears throat> I don't see any marks on the inside. But again, I like having rings because I don't have any of them. Here is a set of pearl style, a necklace. And the beads are tied in between each one, but I still, I don't think that they're... Um, real but it is a nice uh set it doesn't look like the finish is coming off any of the beads so very nice set of pearls it's a nice length too here is like a leather cuff bracelet um oh a little bit of damage right there i wonder if that could be just glued back down it could but I could fix that. A set of rings. I wonder if there's more in there. Ooh, this ring. What is that made of? I always get scared. Like, is it ivory? Is it bone? Like, what? what is that made of? And how can I figure that out? Does anybody have any ideas? What do you think? I mean, it, it's actually in good condition for what it is. Um... If you're into that kind of thing. There's another ring. Look at all the rings. It's so exciting. So this is gold and silver. Like this part's silver. The outside of the heart is gold and the ring is gold. All right. This is a pearl choker necklace. I really like it with that blingy around here. Oh, I hope that black will come off. Um, And then the hanging. I really like that choker necklace. I will be selling that piece. Here is a charm heart American flag style bracelet. It is by China. <laughs> what does this side say? Is it Claire's? Cookie Lee. Oh, this is Cookie Lee. Not sure how well Cookie Lee does, but I will look into that. Another pearl style brace, uh, necklace with the rhinestone blingy on the end. These are all loose, so definitely probably plastic, right? Yeah. Yeah, no maker there. I don't know. What do you think? Wearables or sold separately? It's debatable. Here is a very long necklace with a heart and beads, kind of like a gothic style. And it does have, oh, this is another Cookie Lee piece. You see that? Cookie Lee. So I would not have guessed that this was Cookie Lee. I thought this was more of another like Hot Topic. And it's on this leather cord. Interesting. This they had marked, oh, it says necklace set. Do I see an earring in here too? Yes, there's a pair of earrings. So look at that. They have the earrings um, set on there. It's Charming Charlie's. Okay, it's a very long necklace that is gold with these um, plastic orange beads on it, teardrops, little triangles. I don't know what you would call them. Let's get everything else out of the way. So there's the necklace with matching hook earrings. Very nice. Here is a necklace with these um, brassy type beads hanging from it. Thought there was a hang tag. No, no hang tag of the maker. A little pendant that has like a 
purple tiger's eye type bead on it, silver pendant. That's nice. More body jewelry from Claire's. You can sell them together. A pair of button earrings on an index card. Here is, um, this is actually a really nice bright white pearl. Uh, probably a choker length necklace that I will sell because I think you can never go wrong with pearls like that. And here is another set of pearls on a nicer um, hook closure, braided pearl. They're a little bit more off-white, where this, like I said, was a brill like a bright white. This bracelet seems to be like separating from the bangle. It is a plastic, is this, it's probably plastic, right? Uh, pendant on a cord. I'm not crazy about the cord, <clears throat> but that is a fun pendant. Okay, here is a pair of silver hook earrings that are in nice shape. Sell this necklace after going through so much trouble to untangle it. <laughs> so it is a very long necklace, gold, with uh, two strands. One has this hanging from it and the other has this hoop. So it sort of hangs with that pendant in between the hoops. And it almost, I mean, it's so plain, it looks like it you could do something with it. Um, and I do not see a maker's mark, but again, I spent a lot of time untangling that, so it might have to be sold. Which is definitely like a statement type piece, has these danglies. Um, looks to be in pretty decent condition, just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And it does have, um, an extender on it so you can make it multiple lengths. I'm dying to see what this is. Wow. Take a look at that bracelet. That is massive. I think it's wooden. Um, yeah, kind of like a tribal wood. Or these like individual wood pieces. I don't know. Very interesting piece. Ooh, I see blingy. Take a look at this. It is a stretch bracelet um, with like floral, but look how pretty. I'm hoping as I turn it that it isn't missing any stones. I think it has all its stones. And then the centerpiece is red with um, pink around and then like an Aurora Borealis pink in the leaves. Very pretty piece. I love it. Does it have any kind of maker? I don't think so. Oh, it even has, look, little pearl uh, beads, pretty beads in between each. Very cute. I love it. Oh, here's another one. just in different colors. So this one is green and red with clear rhinestones. Here we go. Here's the test as we go around. Are we gonna be, oh, right there, we're missing a red one. Oh, that's too bad. And that one is um, like a much brighter red than this one is a deeper red. This is a pendant, you can see right there. Um, sort of like an, off. It's almost tough to tell if it's gold or silver, but I do see a mark right here. And I believe it says, does it say Monet? No, it does not. What does it say? Coro. Interesting. So that's a Coro piece. I just sold a Coro bracelet, though I'm still waiting for payment. Danglies. This one is more of a brassy. Well, actually these are like brassy. This looks more like a gold uh, rose gold and then silver on a silver chain with a nice extender on it. Take a look at that. I got a, um, a whole bunch of loose beads. Um, again, like, what are you doing? Why are you sending this into thread up? Here is 
<laughs> a cute old pin. Here we have a cross bracelet uh, with rhinestones. It's very cute. All the rhinestones are there. That's a good sign. And it has this fold over closure. Nice piece. Wow, this is interesting. It's very heavy. It has like a di uh, dragon theme going across it. I wish you could feel how heavy it is. Uh, I don't see any kind of mark. Oh, wait. It says 20. Oh, they're numbered. Get out. So this is one, two, three. Oh, wow. That is strange. I've never seen anything like that. Have you? That's interesting. Okay, more of the, why are you sending this into thread up? And we'll put them all together. <laughs> um, here is a stretch bracelet. It is missing um, the little, it's, it's, I want to say it's really like a sticker. It's missing the sticker right there. Uh, so that's a craft lot piece. Some braided bangles with blue and green thread. Diamonds International. Here's a pink and gold with some purple stretch bracelet. Here is a locket, a silver locket, very plain on the front, nothing on it. And on the back it says INDX316L. Okay, let's open it. There's nothing inside. It does close well. Check out this. I think it was once upon a time a pin. It says House of Lloyd Sales 2001 that has these snowmen. I thought they were carolers, but they look like they're workers. They were out shoveling some snow. So the front is actually still in decent condition. Um, again, I, I feel like a pin or something is missing from the back. And here is a set of owls with a bonus rhinestone earring. They look like angry owls though. I like happy owls. Is this really a pendant on here that made its way all the way up to the top? I'm just going to be honest. This is going straight to a craft lot because I don't feel like messing with it. Um, it does have this closure on it and this pearl pendant, but it's made its way all the way up to the clasp. I'm sure it's supposed to go to the bottom of this extremely long necklace that could probably be folded over. Um, but this appears to have some issues as well with some of the things broken and poking out. So right for the craft lot. Look at this old thing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Somebody loves you. You pull that and it comes up. Whoop. So here's a set of Charming Charlie yellow earrings with silver hooks. And I actually have a whole bunch of Charming Charlie earrings that I might just lot all together. Now I have a tangled mess. You know where this is headed, right? Over to the craft lot. I'm not a fan of the shell jewelry. If I can get all of this separated. <laughs> this looks like a nice quality pendant. Um, which, if you can see, it says faith, friendship, family, and love. Cute pendant. Okay, I was able to get this necklace free. Which, as I said, I like the pendant that's on this necklace. Although, I'm not sure if it's, does it actually have something in the middle there? Or is it missing it's something in the middle there? Uh, these are like, I would say Christmas earrings because they're red, green, and clear. But it is a pretty ring. It is, again, that shape. I'm going to have to put all my rings together because I feel like that might go with one from earlier. 
There is a bracelet with a fish and a dangle. I'm not sure what that means. Um, maybe it's a religious piece. This is a brutalist piece. A big lobster, lobster closure, all black and tangled metal. And I do see a tag here. Let's see what it says. This is Kenneth Cole. So maybe that is a piece I will sell separately. Let's see what's in the bottom of this. We have in a little bag hair. No. Well, there's this pair of earrings with blue stones. They're pretty. I feel like, is there a mark on the back of one? There might be, but I can't read it. That was stuck. this mess that is how that looks it's an interesting piece is this 90s or what i think that's 90s um okay <laughs> long strand of whatever this is <laughs> i am so out of it guys i'm so over this box i'm sorry i'm doing a terrible job Okay, but we do have a bunch of rings. Here is a feather ring, kind of a small size. We have a plastic blue with um, bronzy glitter in it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm okay. Here's that ring. Oh, a crown ring. A little set of silver or gold rings. They're pretty. They're all connected. Here is a set of hoop earrings with a little bit of like brushed metal going on. But it has like a pearlized mother of pearl look that is very pretty let's take another look at that because there wasn't much else to see <laughs> here is a cute little wooden pin looks like a little squirrel she's dressed up and going somewhere it is made in japan Here's a little ring with rhinestones. I think they are all there too. It's very small. Another small ring. This one is gold, I think. Here is a cute little bird pin that is marked JJ. We have a loose, like mother of pearl type green, or tiger's eye, I should say, it has that tiger's eye quality to it. I'm not sure what that went to. Um, here's another bracelet, which will go in a craft lot, probably because I'm just not crazy about it. A short change to these plain bangles. This one's scalloped, that's a little different. I do not see a maker. Do I? No. Um, and then three gold and one silver. And this, and this, and then these plastic that I said, why do you send this in to thread up? You know, these little Christmas tree earrings. 
But yeah, overall, in case you couldn't tell, I am definitely not impressed with this lot. And I would ask you what your favorite piece is. <laughs> but I've done such a terrible job showing you the jewelry. Um, here's a nice ring, actually, with a um, yeah, green flower. So what did you think? Leave me a comment and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Thanks for being here.